good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? Well, you've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. But try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Bastila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Vassila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Vassila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do, but from what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. Bastila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us, and if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Basil's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need hers. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of escape pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. And we can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall! This is a raid! That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again! What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Jiska do Sukiku ba na bona na kachu ba tu inko tu to ba na bung walia ganto na do chu chu kapa chi kuita hotonga ya la mo inko tu jilo ba muri rani bobo wango kumbeska kain ba mamaruri ra. 
kuya mi just kuna chitanai ina kun mama ruli ra ra chikun slimo padona rundi ha donga chikon kabi jawana bota ayu ta honga cha kanki dora kachi kuita hodonga topa da bon kwali agando dona no chut chut muksha pa 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 bola wana chitne pa muli slimo poda wanga kun bes muli ra ra bes uba batu kochi tong nong bong chang nung yang tong tok smak telia On it. Done. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Okay, I'll tell you. J just try and stay calm. The last thing I need is trouble with you and Holden. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. Wait, think about what you're doing. If that pig had just kept his hands to himself, I wouldn't have had to give him that scar with my vibroblade. He gets drunk and tries to force himself on me, and I get a bounty put on my head for defending myself. Where's the justice in that? Holden's the one to blame, not me. What's wrong with you? She doesn't deserve this. Then you're going to learn the same lesson I taught Holden. I'm not as helpless as I look. <laughs> On it. Done. On it. Done. On it. Done. Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donko tsercha, chupa panki. Tong hait wam jiji jung lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chu chut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. You malita kuto dun. Chila mulane ni du bobo. Onga kumbis chang ba mulira. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek. Tuk ning chatu kun ne mulira bes. Chi gratu loda bograshi on neon kumba chin tomba mochuba. Loda nita kun. Ita patisa batua kachatu tong. Bagra sha kum tijaka um. Chubakaha chopa chawachuish yunku. Jodo jid bunga rantang. Ta kum jus tak miki grabble mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank waleo ganda naru chuchut. Mogesha punga bola wana chikne. 
Wa mule slimo puta da da nanga kumbist mule rabes. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand to hand and melee combat. Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa ni ta poe tikito dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut kachi chu ita dundonga you malita kuto tun chila mulane ni du bobo wonga kumbis chang ba mulera ta kumjus tak miki grabul mogo kachi chu ita bodunga dolpa bank waleo ganda naru chuchut Mogesha punka bola wana chikne. Pa mule slimo puta da da nanga kumbist mule rabes chi gratu loda bograshi oni un kompa chin tondo mochuba. Loda ni ta kun ita patisa batua kacha tu tonga. Bograsha kun ti jaka um. Chuba kaha chopa chawa chwish yunku. Jodo jid bunga rantang. Tolpa da bongwale gandu nangu chuchut. Kava dum ku pilio bo tenya. Bonanai kuchu. Awaga boska chocola. Mucha shag panka. Ka chikun ita hodonga. Yikin kuno pa mulera chikun. Slimo po dona rundi hodunga ku hunkabe. Tong abog sha umni na wanga kumbis keng balemuraya. Chuni yon tun chichi ita duana. Kapa volpa mulje kumana. Achuta wanga kumbis dolpi kiku yana. Tong patugas makdelia. Tugas Magdelia. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff.
Ага. Хм? 